I'm a big believer that if you're having a really bad conversation with someone, it's not necessarily that person. It's very likely just the quality of your questions your potential matches will start a conversation with tell me about yourself where are you from what do you do what do you like to do for fun fair enough people talk about that however what i want you to do i want you to ask questions to evoke an emotion when you evoke an emotion you evoke a feeling and then you set the tone for a completely different experience instead of asking do you like traveling ask what's the most exciting place that you ever visited instead of asking what do you do for a living ask what's been the best thing about your week so far what's been the best thing about your day so far instead of asking do you have any hobbies ask what's the passion project that you're working on at the moment you see it makes a completely different thing because when you evoke things like excitement fun you will be remembered by that person as an exciting and fun lady and let me tell you working with guys and coaching them this is one of the first things that they mention they want someone that they can have a laugh and be fun together i know this is what you also want in, in that relationship and that connection how can you make it a bit more relatable how can you connect i'm not blaming you if you're thinking that this whole speed dating experience it can be a bit stressful and awkward but if you know how to play the game if you're willing to be more game then you can have a really fun experience. So I would really encourage you to do that. I'd love to know from you, have you ever been to any speed dating events? And what's your experience? And if you haven't been to any speed dating events, are you actually going to have a go at it? I'd love to know, let me know in the comments. And you never know who is waiting for you at your next speed dating event, just around the corner. If you find this useful, make sure you share it with your girlfriend so you can explore the speed dating together. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time. Always remember that you are worthy of love. Make sure that you watch the rest of the video about speed dating and everything you need to know if you want to succeed at speed dating. It's linked in the description.